it looks like we have at least a couple things noted to cover. So um, if everyone wants to go ahead and make sure to pull up the agenda on their side. I just dropped the link to the agenda notes. Please feel free to go ahead and hang on just a second. Yep. Yeah. Log your attendance as always. While you're in there dropping your attendance, if you have anything on your mind that you would like to add to agenda, open floor, or if there are any bugs, pull requests, or mailing list items that you would like to get some extra attention on, we will be happy to dive into those this today. All right, while people are getting these pulled up, um, is the sound level really low? Or is it just my audio? You're right? fine. Okay, good. All right then. Um, all right, I turned up my mic as hot as I can without worrying about like blowing people's ears out. All right, so while you're in there logging att your attendance, um, if we have anyone new who would like to just say hello, we would love to welcome you, um, hear where you're using Kubert and what brought you in, or just anything. Um, it's always fun to see who's joining the meeting. So with that, I think we'll go ahead and jump in. It looks like, I don't think Andrew was gonna make it today. I think he's off, but he did drop a community uh, wiki link for us to look at for CFPs and coming up for events. You know what? Honestly, I have. It's been a minute since I looked at this repo. Hmm. It looks like we need to investigate getting the wiki to work. go ahead and drop that on for next week as well to make sure that we can go back and revisit that when the link is working and 
with that. Does here? I'm gonna actually add myself so I can keep track of that. I'll be back to work on that. Let's see. So, open floor. We have an item from Jed about SC Linux and container running loads. Do you, do you want to go ahead and speak to that? Are you here? Yes. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Yes. We can hear you well. well. Um, yeah. So, some, some background on that. Um, so we deploy a custom SC Linux policy for Vert Launcher, and up until last week, uh, we were using that for all VMIs that get created. Um, we now switch to using it to for only the use cases that need it, which is uh, Vert IOFS and huge pages. And so now, all of the VMIs will um, will run as the default uh, container SC Linux type, which is called container T. And so uh, since that's the case, we need to make sure that the nodes uh, of the cluster are running uh, a version of container as Linux that has all the rules that we need. So we need to make sure uh, a recent enough version of it was deployed. Um, so long story short, um, if you're running Kubert on a cluster that has as Linux enabled nodes, uh, make sure that your version of container as Linux is uh, version 2.170 or newer. Uh, and I linked a PR that documents that. Yeah, the PR could use uh, an LGTM. Yeah, they could use it. Like it. Well, can I ask a quick, a quick question about this? Yep. Um, do you know uh, if this particular image helps at all with IOMMU pass through? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure I understand the question. Which which image? You were talking about this is a, a new container image with SE Linux, correct? Um, no, not really. Um, so container SC Linux is the name of a project uh, that it's the project that um, builds the container T SC Linux type. Um, okay, that, gotcha. that's I apologize. The... I jumped on a little bit uh, just like, like a minute ago, so <laughs> I was just trying to catch up. Okay, so yeah, no, I, I don't think it will uh, help with the, any kind of bathroom, sorry. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, I was asking because um, in the confidential containers, they ran into an issue with CentOS um, when trying to spin up a container because of SE Linux. And I was just curious with IOMMU. I was just curious if this particular image, maybe if they rebased the, the image off of this, if that would help. But that, again, like you mentioned, that this is completely unrelated. Gotcha. All right. Um, do we have anyone else who would like to uh, assign and review? Sorry, I am waking up this morning. <laughs> the, the PR for the docs. Oh, yeah, I'll go with <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any review privilege, but I'd be happy to put another set of eyes on it. Sounds good. All right. In that case, since Andrew Burden is out, um, we do not have PRs in such stage for us, so I'm going to go ahead and go through those like 
usual. We'll look and see if we see anything that is um, idle. Um, if anyone does have anything, again, that they specifically want to go back and add, it is not too late to drop something if it is important to you. Looks like this past week we just have Kubert maintainers on PRs. Can do the same with mailing list review real quick. Kubert's with ability to access secondary interfaces, secondary FQDN instead of IP addresses. we do have at least some activity on that so it doesn't look like it's idle. Privileged. There, I can zoom in in case anyone is trying to skim through with me. Uh, Kati is from me, and this one. I think I need some feedback from Vladik or Roman I, or Lubo. They are not here, so I'm not sure if. Looks like Vladik's here. Yeah, sorry, I'm here. <laughs> oh, hi, Vladik. Um, hey. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's the right place to, to discuss the persistent, uh, SCSI persistent reservation. Yeah, let's do it offline. Um, yeah. All right, it doesn't look like anything is idle in there then that needs 
on call discussion. And so now we're just to bug scrub. Again, if there's something specific that you want eyes on, feel free to drop the link for the bug in here and we will jump to it. Let's pay it, pay it extra attention. All right, that one was answered in the mailing list. Looks like we have two to look at real quick. So another migration target. Not using node selectors, is he? Let's see. At spec. Okay. Okay, that one's a new one for me. Does anyone know? Update a VMI object is restricted. Um, actually, this is a VM. I don't remember if I've gone and changed the VMI separately from the VM. Um, So what's their exact complaint here? Because it sounds, I mean, to, to try and deviate the VMI from the VM would be a, a deliberate design that we wouldn't allow that. Right. Uh, that's what I was going to go after. Um, instead of patching the VMI, patch the VM instead. Yeah, but which might also not always be allowed, depending on what they're changing, that might also be restricted. Yeah. Um... I want to say node selectors have allowed me to change, but that would not be a definitive. Yeah, you could definitely change the node selectors okay. on yeah. the VM, um, but you, you wouldn't be able to change it on the VMI without changing the VM as well. Right. Yeah. Um, it took me a second to notice the difference between where he was editing stuff and where he was defining in the YAML. Um, my question is, does the node selector, I think, I think it does. 
I believe the node selector does apply to the VMI right away and then subsequent migration jobs move it. Does anyone else remember for sure if that's how it works? That, that sounds right. I'm a little fuzzy on that, but I you, you should be able to apply it right away, but it's not going to apply to the current VM or you know, to the, whatever's currently running. Hmm. As in, uh, to state it more clearly, there's not an implied migrate action as when you change the node selector. No, there's not an implied migrate action. That is correct. All right, with that one handled, it looks like we're down to one remaining bug to review. Hot plug is invalid. Hang on. Hot plug is invalid when kubelet param router is not explicitly at that path, huh?
is empty all the time. see it looks like the PR to resolve this is idle since Lily Che dropped LGTM on it herself are we needing another reviewer for this Let's see. Yeah, perhaps you you would want um, to see Alexander Wales in this. It's a AW. Yeah, this one. Sweet. Yeah, I think it just rebased and then. Uh, but I think we agree on that that change. Okay, I'm going to drop it as well on next week's bug scrub or actually the pull request thanks for joining Vladik and let's see browser did you refresh my tab okay We dropped seven nine seven eight and eight five eight two. Okay. We'll circle back and double check that those are moving forward next week. double check and make sure I don't see anything else added last minute to the agenda um, I am going to double check this wiki link and see if we can get that fixed by next week and other than that 
last call if anyone has anything else random to speak up about. Going once. Going twice. All right, then. Looking forward to seeing you all again. Same time, same place next week. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye. That's great. Thank Thanks. You Thank you. Right.